prove that if P1, P2, all the way up to Pn are distinct prime numbers with P1 equals two and N is greater than one, then P1 times P2 times all the way up to Pn plus one can be written in the form 4k plus three for some integer k. All right, let's prove this. So for this proof, we're gonna assume that P1, P2, all the way up to Pn are distinct prime numbers with P1 equals two and N is greater than one. Next, we have to restructure this number in the form of 4k plus three, where k is some integer. Now by substitution, we can replace P1 with two and rewrite this as two times P2 times all the way up to Pn. And this string of prime numbers is not empty since n is strictly greater than one. There has to be at least one prime number here and then plus one. Okay, so now our number is almost in the correct format. We need the format to be four times some integer plus three. The next thing we can do is we can change this plus one into a plus three by force. And we do that algebraically by rewriting the plus one as a plus three and then minus two. That's how we can get our plus three here. Now we're gonna try to regroup this minus two with everything else here. So I'll rewrite this three minus two as minus two plus three. And then with everything else, we have to somehow pull out a factor of four. Well, we can pull out one factor of two. So by algebra, this is equal to two times the product of primes from P2 all the way up to Pn minus one and then plus three. So now we're closer. We have the number in the form two times an integer plus three. We just need to rewrite this somehow as four times an integer plus three, which means somehow we need to show that this factor is even. If this factor here is even, then we can pull out another factor of two and rewrite this in the form 4k plus three. So then why would this section inside the parentheses be even? Well, since P1 was two and P1 all the way up to Pn are distinct prime numbers, then that means that none of these prime numbers here can be the number two. So since P1 equals two and all prime factors are distinct, then that means that two does not divide the product of prime factors from P2 all the way up to Pn. So that means that P2 times all the prime factors up to Pn is odd, then that means that if we subtract one from the product of primes, that's odd, then we'll get an even integer. So this means that two does divide P2 all the way up to Pn minus one, since subtracting one from any odd number is even. So that means that the product of all these distinct prime numbers minus one equals 2k for some integer k. And so next we're going to rewrite this as two times 2k plus three, which is 4k plus three. And so this product of prime factors here plus one is equal to 4k plus three for some integer k. So this is what we wanted to show. That trick was substitution. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.